Previously, I showed you how to laser engrave onto anodized aluminum, such as this MacBook Pro. It looks pretty cool from far away. Upon closer inspection, you can see that there's some lines. This is called banding, and it doesn't look very professional at all. Here's another angle of the result. As you can see, from this angle, it's much more visible. So in today's video, we're going to improve it. Apparently, the solution is pretty simple. All you have to do is install this TL Smoother. I have no idea what TL stands for, but it works. While the target market for this item is for 3D printers, I find that this works as well because in laser engravers, the one that we're using for the Comcro Z1, we're using the exact same motor. So let's get started, shall we? Flip your Z1 over. You'll see four screws on the control box. Unloosen the four screw. One, two, three, four. Let the box rest on one side. And on this side, you can see that this controls one of the Y motor, the other Y motor, and the X motor. We don't care about the X motor. We only care about the Y motor. So go ahead and unplug both of these Y motors. Here you can see one of the Y motor controller is going into the uh, TL smoother. It doesn't really matter what the orientation is. You can put it in either way. The smoother will come out this way and back into the motherboard. I use thick 3M VHB tape, double-sided, to hold down the uh, circuit board. And this controller box is so small that the only space I found for them was right here. So let's do a recap, shall we? Going from the motherboard into this uh, circuit board and out to the Y motor. Here's exactly the same thing from the motherboard out into the circuit board, from the circuit board out into the other Y axis motor. When you put the controller box back into its original position, you have to wiggle some wires around. It is super tight, so be careful not to uh, pull out any of these wires out. After installation, I fire up my light burn, find another anodized aluminum. This one happens to be an iPad. And you can see the result is much, much better. There is absolutely no banding at all. Pretty slick. All right, hopefully this video helps you with banding issue with your laser engraver or um, even 3D printer. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.